Hey everybody, it's that time again. Time to answer the age old question, where's Mathis? Not that my videos are missing right now anyway, but when things like packs and other trips start coming up, I like to drop a video vlog and let you know the plans for the channel, where I'm gonna be and all that other good shizzle. Um, so the next few weeks are gonna be crazy. If you listen to the Roundtable podcast or listen to me talk in any of my videos, I talk about it quite a bit. Um, but over the next few weeks, I'm gonna be all over the place. Very, very, very busy. Um, this coming weekend, which is what? Where it's the 18th today. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, within like three or four days, PAX East starts. Uh, and because PAX East starts, it means I'm going to have videos backlogged and all that other stuff. So if you're looking for a particular series or a particular show and it's not up, it's because I just didn't have time to cram it and backlog it and get it ready for PAX East. I will then have a week after PAX East. And after that, I'll be flying off to Florida to go to a wedding for a friend. I'll be down there from Friday, May, May 6th, I believe. Yeah, Friday, May 6th to that following Monday, I'll be back on that Monday, and then I'll be back to a little bit of a normal schedule. Then, two weeks after I'm back from that wedding, I'm off to Atlanta, Georgia for MomoCon. I'm going to be doing a panel on Saturday morning. Uh, I'll have more details for you the week of and let you guys know where and when. I might even do like a fan meet up there if there's enough people who are interested in doing that or coming to that um, uh, for Georgia. And then I'll be back after that. I'm going to be there until I'll be back on, let's see, I'm going to be back on the 6th of May, then I leave again the 25th, and I'm back on the 29th. Uh, then, what, is it literally just like, it's like two and a half, three weeks after that, I am off to E3 in June, where uh, I'll be with Ryan and Kate and all that good stuff, and we'll be in LA, doing LA things, aka hookers and blow, like, is that what you do in LA? Uh, but no, we'll be doing E3, playing games, having a good time. Uh, it'll be all of our first E3, I believe. It'll be the first time there'll be an E3, uh, or at least the first time, rather, not that, that there will be an E3, but that all of us will be there. So that'll be really, really fun as well. So very interested to see how E3 is. It's been a childhood want of mine for the longest time to go to an E3 and this I finally get to go to one so I'm really really excited about that and then I'm gonna be back and I shouldn't do any more traveling until August where there's PAX Prime I might do something in July I haven't decided yet but at the end then there's PAX Prime at the end of August early September which should be the next big trip um and uh but that but that's a little bit of a ways off for now I have like I feel like I'm traveling every two weeks, basically, uh, starting, you know, you know, PAX isn't traveling, but you know what I mean? Like, I've got something going on basically every two weeks for a while, so it's going to be very, very hectic and crazy over here in Mathistown. I am trying my best to get everything backlogged and ready. Uh, I have Dark Souls 3 all backlogged and set. I'm working on Enter the Gungeon. I'm going to try and get Subnautica all set. Might dive into Honey Pop or Honey Camp Studio for that stretch of four days of PAX East. We'll see how it ends up going. Um, but I feel like we're finally, the channel is finally slowing down as far as a ton of new games are concerned. For a very long time, there was a, just a new game coming out every day and I wanted to cover it and I was covering it. And then other games fell by the wayside. Uh, Subnautica, Danganronpa, all that good stuff. They will be coming back. I actually did do an episode of Danganronpa recently recently really to explain where it's been it'll be back uh hopefully sooner rather than later and i'm hard at work at the neck with the next judge mathis i wanted the next judge mathis to be out before pax east uh it doesn't look like that's going to end up happening um the script is basically done it's down to just recording the live action stuff i have all the game footage i need for it and then just spending a ton of time editing that that review together it should be fun um it's of a game that i picked up a year ago now, uh, when I started picking up my NES, or rather my SNES collection, and it looked like a cool game. I'm hiccuping like crazy. Okay, hang on. There we go. All right. It was the game I picked up about a year ago with uh, when I was starting my SNES collection. I thought it looked cool. It was a Wolverine game. Uh, and I really enjoy, like, just collecting stuff, clearly. this I need a new bookshelf altogether. Um... But it's terrible. It is awful. To the point where it's so poorly designed, it was a chore to beat it, and I had to use some uh, game skip codes here and there. And even then, um, I couldn't get to the end of it because it's so poorly designed that beating it is nearly, not nearly impossible, very, 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 very hard. And I, I realized there was going to come to a point where I could sit here for hours a day, play that game and try and beat it, or 
and ignore doing my normal stuff for my channel or like try to start skipping through and just trying to see what the gameplay mechanics are. Luckily, the gameplay mechanics don't fucking change and they're awful. Um, so I'm looking forward to bringing that up. It's a uh, Wolverine Adamantium Rage for the SNES. Apparently there was a Genesis version of the game and that is the worst one out of the two. And the SNES one is fucking terrible. So I know I haven't played the Genesis one. Maybe one day I will. Uh, but that's where the next Judge Mathis is going to be. Um, my goal with that one is to bring the episode length to about 10 or 15 minutes instead of like the 23 minutes that I had for Vampire. It makes sense that for Vampire it was as long as it was because it's a big old RPG. It was you know, dozens of hours long, so it, it, I wanted to make sure I talked about everything I could, uh, but this next one is going to be a little bit shorter, uh, a little bit more comical than I expected, a lot of swearing, a lot of me just being mad that the game is absolutely trash, and some of the design decisions that were made about it, um, so that should be out shortly after PAX, I'm, I'm, again, I'm basically, I'm done with the script, I'm kind of just going through it and making sure the editing, or, or the wording is correct, and I'm sure I'll do some on-the-fly edits and, and improv as I'm recording the live-action stuff, really want to get the new mic rather, to good use over there. We'll see. Um, but that's where the channel is right now. PAX East is coming. If you're going to be at PAX East, look for me, man. Tweet at me, all that good stuff. I go out of my way to make sure I meet as many of you as I possibly can. Uh, for PAX South, which was in January, uh, I probably met the most people I've ever met. It was crazy. People were just all over the place. I got to say hi to a ton of people. Um, so if you're going to be there, let me know in the comment section below or by following me on Twitter and tweeting at me where you're going to end up being. Uh, I will obviously be tweeting out the whole time, letting people know where I am, what I'm doing, so people can find me if they need me or want to say hi because that's what I go to PAX is for at this point for you guys. Thank you guys so much, uh, and thank you for your patience in the upcoming weeks. Everything should be – I'm hoping everything will seem normal on the outside, but i like to let you guys know just in case. Love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.